Hey guys, today we will be looking at the Honor 9N's first boot. I have already made unboxing and the first overview of this beautiful looking phone. So if you haven't watched that, I will give a link in the description section, you can uh, directly watch that. I have also mentioned some quirks about this uh, phone in that video. So you can watch that. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and do like this video if you really find it helpful. So in this video, as I said, this is the Honor 9N and uh, if you have bought this mobile uh, new and you don't know how to set up your phone for the first time, this is the right video. You will also get to know what are the steps that you will encounter when you just switch on the mobile for the first time. So let's take a look at it. Just powering on this device. I just didn't like this button over here. So it just feels a little bit filmsy. Sort of it's not tactile. But still it's okay for the budget I guess. Wish uh, this button was a little more tactile feeling because this is the button that we will be using a lot while you are using the phone. So this button doesn't feel tactile but that's how it is so, so this is the honor logo intro that they have got so this is booting for the first time and it takes a little bit of seconds like say around 10 seconds to get it to this step and once we are here you need to select the language here's the english united kingdom typical setup you have the general english probably the us version if you want to go select your own language you have all the options over here so right now itself you can actually select and make the entire interface in that particular language but for this video just to show you i'll choose the english let's uh, tap on next and what you have to do here is uh, this is the time to insert the sim card otherwise you can uh, pretty much insert the sim card and then power on the phone so that it recognizes that there is a sim card over here so if you haven't inserted the sim card yet you can still use the mobile you just tap on the skip and agree to their terms and conditions so you agree twice uh, to the terms and conditions and after that you have this about service permissions so this basically ensures that wherever you are uh, if there is any wi-fi network over there it will automatically search you and notify so that's the intelligent thing that they have uh, to offer wi-fi plus service you can pretty much agree otherwise you can even disagree here and just skip on this step and if you want the weather service to receive your information such as the IMEI MAC address and such things so you can give them a permission saying agree otherwise you can always disagree and tap next so either way you can do it uh, whichever you like so then uh, we will tap on next otherwise you can also tap on agree to all and once you do that it asks to connect to the internet so if you have wi-fi in your home you can just connect to the internet and then tap on next so if you don't have internet no problem you can just skip this step that's what I did and here is the Google services so now Google comes into play asking you uh, the permission to enable the location you can always do these things later while you are using the mobile so you don't have to enable it right now if you want to enable you go ahead and enable but for now I will just disable those and here it asks for the device maintenance so it will be basically collecting your data and information for their diagnostic purposes uh, so that's how they release the updates eventually and if you want to enable that you can enable it probably consumes a little bit of battery because it has to extract the information every time you are using the mobile so that's how it is for now let's disable and tap on i agree so here welcome to your ld al20 this is basically the model number of the honor 9n and if you have other mobile you want to restore all the data from that to this phone you can pretty much copy your data by tapping on this if you have iphone you select this if you are receiving the data if you are restoring your old things so you can do that from your username and password from google otherwise from an android phone so for now we are setting up this mobile as a new so get a fresh start and here it asks for the data transfer again Huawei device you want to sign into their account and pretty much store your uh, photos or other things uh, into their cloud server so you can do that let's just tap on uh, okay and you can enable the cloud or later also you can do this for now we will tap on not now and here it asks for the fingerprint scanner or facial unlock and password and um, uh, guys this fingerprint be it the fingerprint scanner be it the facial unlock feature of this honor phones it just works flawlessly and they are very very fast in terms of how they unlock your device so that's one awesome feature you can say but some other would say that it's not so much secure but still I think it uh, if it recognizes it will unlock for you otherwise it says that it is recognizing face yet. So let's quickly set up the face unlock. So here you have to enter the pattern or pin for the first time. So let's uh, say that I enter the pattern. Let's pick the pattern. You can give whatever pattern you want. 
you have to do it two two times to confirm then tap on done and after you do this just tap on continue and uh, allow uh, it to you see your camera so here's my face so it just recognized my face now face unlock set and after this is done you can also use the fingerprint id here let's uh, set up the fingerprint scanner as well just tap on next enable the fingerprint i'll just enroll my fingerprint tapping like this so it uh, says that where you have to register your fingerprint so just keep doing this until it's said done so successfully enrolled you can even rename the fingerprint say if you want to rename it as a left-handed finger fingerprint you can do that and after you have done that just tap on ok and boom here's the emui version get started so basically this is the home screen of the honor 9n and those were the steps that you need to follow and based on your preference you can enable or disable the settings and this is pretty much it so here's the home screen look at the beautiful wallpaper that they have given just goes well with this uh, beautiful looking phone you can say and while we are in the home screen let's quickly jump to the settings and here you can see the storage how much storage is left so out of 64 GB 53.4 GB is what it is left and that's the storage left so let's take back if you have connected to the internet it will search for the automatic update if uh, honor has released any update i think they probably have released the update so you can update it if you want to update manually just go to the system here and from here system update so this is uh, where you update the software and if you just check the about phone so it's running emui version 8.0 basically they have newer version 8.1 now and android version is also 8.1 right now so even android p is also available i think for the honor 9 in coming days and it also boasts the high silicon kirin 659 cpu i think it's really fast so there shouldn't be any hiccup or stuck at all with this phone and here's the 4 gb ram so the screen resolution so this is pretty much it with about phone so before we wrap up this video just quickly we shall see the camera user interface this is what i'm really excited to test so stay tuned on this channel stay subscribed i'll be making full detail settings of how you can utilize this camera features to take some really good images so this is the camera user interface uh, like i said i really love honor phones because of the fact that they give pretty much plenty of settings that you can tweak and get exactly like the way you want so that's how you can capture pictures there are some tips and tricks that you need to know so stay tuned on this channel hit that like button and subscribe to the channel share with your friends and see you all in another one guys till then take care everyone bye bye